this is the RS Prop Stormtrooper helmet cast directly from that original A New Hope helmet. It's a first generation exact copy of that helmet, and this is the first. Um, well, Mag actually is probably not the first helmet that's ever been cast exactly from a first generation A New Hope helmet, uh, but they also sell armor which has never been done before, cast directly from a pretty much full set of a new hope armor. This is just the helmet. And what we see before I continue the unboxing is over there on the ground, this first one here is a Dawn Post mask that I got when I was about 12 years old in about 1982. And it is the, you know, really <laughs> bad version of the second one is the later Don Post classic action Stormtrooper helmet and the one in the very back is an uh, Shepperton Design Studios or SDS battle spec helmet uh, which is also the armor that you see the legs of over here okay so there's the inside of the box bubble wrapped I actually bought this from the guy Purchased it from RS Props. He lives out in California. The guy who originally bought this helmet. Nicely. Wow. Now we tell the great thing about these helmets that RS Props makes is that they've captured every imperfection of the original helmets. And those original helmets, if you've ever seen them, pictures of them close up, they are bumpy, they have bumpy caps, their faces are wonky, everything is, is uh, nothing is symmetrical, and I think that's what makes the beauty of those helmets. So, take it out now. Whoa. Brow trim is coming down a little bit. or something like that from just falling off. Whoa. It's made out, this is the ABS uh, helmet. They make, uh, make it out of HEPE, which is what the original stunt helmets were made out of. This is the ABS, so it's a little bit more sturdy. It's still pretty thin. I can tell now, you know, when I, I've owned the battle spec helmet from SDS for a number of years now, and it was made to uh, withstand trooping better, and I can tell this helmet here is a lot thinner, a little bit more fragile. There we go, I'm just going to slide it on. There. This, and this, all the uh, details on this helmet are hand-painted, so it's as close to an original Stormtrooper helmet, as I'm ever going to get, because I'll never own a real one, as far as I know. Wow, look at that. Everything's hand-painted. It's very light. It's got the S trim there, there's the interior with the, uh, with a foam pedal. Pad your head as you wear it. It's got the got lots of cool imperfections in the helmet that the layperson might not. Uh, they might see it up close and go, "Why is it all bumpy?" But anyone who's into stormtroopers knows that that's the mark of the real thing. That movie props sometimes, when you see them in person, can look very rough as opposed to the idealized versions of people like Don Post make. So I'm going to put uh, Battle 
little spec helmet next to it. Let's see how they compare the SDS. SDS originally uh, did the vacuum forming of all the the first 50 sets of Stormtrooper armor for A New Hope. Yeah, you can see the battle spec is a lot different, like the eye spacing is different, the mouth is different, the cheek tubes have been smoothed out. But this one is wonky as hell. Side view of the face put on the SDS always bothered me. It never seemed to be quite the right angle. That's your man. There's the side view. The size of the two are similar. The top of the the cap of the uh, RS props, which is this one. It's bigger, a little bit different shape. There's, these are these are decals on here, and these are painted on. You can feel it's very bumpy. There's the back. Here's the other side. Comparison. Yeah, you see a lot of differences. Because this is an exact copy, and this is sort of an idealized and cleaned up version. Now the seller did tell me there's a little crack right there, and there it is. It doesn't seem to be too bad, but I might want to Reinforce it from the inside so it doesn't get any worse. There's little details on this helmet that uh, aren't on some fan made helmets, like there's a little oval there. It looks like from the top. <laughs> Let's look at it compared to my very first one. barely tell the two apart. That's been a long way, a long time from this to this. There you go.